The thumbnail and title of this video are a little bit clickbaity, a little bit over the top. I was never really gone, but I thought it'd be fun to say I'm back. Um, let me actually, let me grab a seat and I'll, I'll, I'll break it down for you. So, uh, earlier this year, uh, well, kind of last year, I was making videos sort of four or five times a week. So many, um, just uploading content after content, just interesting thoughts, hot takes, um, upcoming projects, post drop analysis, price predictions, all that kind of stuff. But if you actually have a look on the channel, you'll realize that um, they've kind of slowed down to like almost once a week, maybe twice a week. And on the outside, if you're not, you know, kind of following me on Twitter or you're not in um, the Discord and you're not kind of across everything, you kind of think that maybe I'm like every other influencer and I've kind of like dipped off and gotten bored of the space because there have been so many people that have kind of dipped off, gotten bored or then things like that. So I guess the reason that I wanted to make this video is I feel transparency in this space is key. If you don't have transparency, it's very hard for people to kind of um, trust you and know who you are. And it's a little bit hard when you're only seeing my face maybe pop up um, sort of two or three times a month. You're like, hey, what's Nate doing? Where's he going? Has he just dipped on the space? No, I believe in it. And I kind of want to show you why right now. So that's a little bit of the context about what this video is going to be about. So the main reason that I haven't been shooting and uploading as much is that I don't actually have a home or a studio. Um, basically this house right here, uh, me and my wife uh, recently bought this place. Now the old place that you would have seen that has the garage and me sitting in that room, that was our old house. We sold that place and we ended up buying this place. And this place, um, I'll drop in some photos now, but you can see it needed a bit of work. We're getting a new kitchen in and as you can see, it's kind of empty right now so there's that um, in terms of painting the place I actually painted it myself um, which took me a couple of weeks there's been a whole bunch of DIY work so yes I've been putting in a lot of work on this home but there's also a, a point where I don't actually have a space to film to shoot um, to edit to kind of do all that and it makes it a little bit harder let's dip down here um, it makes it a little bit harder when you're um, a, a content creator and the thing that gets me excited is that this is going to be my new studio so I've got this place this space entirely to myself I don't need to share a room um, I'm gonna be able to kind of do what I want drill holes knock walls down do all that kind of stuff and essentially it's going to be a bit of fun so yes with this room I've got all of the tripods I've got all my stuff setting up I'm building the studio right now and a studio isn't just for those that don't create content a studio isn't just a space to film but it's almost like that zen place that you can get when you get into your studio you don't have to set up your lights everything's good to go you become familiar you get into a routine into a habit into a pattern and then that's when you can just switch on and make really good informative content it's where you can make your calls it's where you can do it and up until kind of this point right now and i'm still not going to be in here for another couple of weeks it's hard because I don't have a dedicated space to myself. And that's why you'll see me shooting in car parks, shooting in random different locations here and there because I'm trying to get a space for myself to actually set up, to shoot, to record and do that. And this is on top of all of the other things that you'll kind of do in Web3. So that is just a little bit of a look at the studio that's being built now. Um, and the what I really kind of wanted um, in part is the fact that I haven't been gone from the States. This video is to kind of break down where I've been and what I'm doing, just so you kind of understand. Now, what I will kind of say is that in the my um, Discord, I am kind of making videos sort of uh, three, four times a week, putting up sort of reviews, market analysis, things like that. There's also whitelist giveaways, all things like that in the Discord as well. But the idea is that with that, I'm still creating content, but it's um, it's just going out because YouTube is a beast when it comes to the description, the titles, the links, the chapters, the thumbnail, all that. It can sometimes take you an hour to get that right piece, that right kind of um, title description that you think will kind of pop off. And especially combine that with a bear market when people aren't as excited to be watching content um, and then uh, the, you're always gonna get trolls and stuff. It can beat you down a little bit when you spend all this time and effort to kind of throw into a piece of content. If I could be putting up a piece of content a day, I 100% would, would. And that's what I'm excited for with um, the new kind of place, that, like with the new studio that I'm building. I'm gonna be able to kind of make more content because everything's more streamlined. I can get in there when I'm enthusiastic because one of the hard driving factors of creating, creating video is you need to have energy, you need to have excitement. 
unlike writing um, a, a, a thread or a piece or something like that, you can't really have low energy when you're on camera. If you do have low energy, people are going to be like, they're not going to vibe with you, they're not going to like you. They're going to think what you're saying is false, it's not true, because you can hear my voice, you can see my facial expressions. It needs to be real, it needs to be authentic, it needs to be raw. And if you then spend half hour setting up, trying to get into a rhythm and a flow, and then you're disrupted and things don't work, you can then lose that enthusiasm to actually jump in and make that killer baller piece of content. But if you don't have that space set up, that Zen space that can kind of be your own, that you can just turn on, snap on and get into, it does get very hard. Now I know the inner Gary V, um, so the Gary V in my head will be going like, doesn't matter what camera you've got, just make content, make content. But it does get hard when you are used to a particular set of circumstances and that's how you act and that's how you kind of move forward to make content. Um, so it can get a little bit harder. Um, but yes, I'm not here, I'm not disappearing. Um, and then I also kind of know at some point you we're going to have someone kind of asking about the home itself. No, I didn't buy the home with um, just NFTs or like that kind of thing. NFTs, yes, they did actually kind of help out to purchase the home. So yes, I'm not gonna flex and say that uh, if you can flip a couple of board apes, you can then end up buying a home. Yes, sure you can. And that's not how I did this. It's taken a lot of hard work. NFTs and Web3 have assisted me in doing this, but it's not like I would have, um, I, I've done it completely off the back of that. There are other investments also. I did sell the other place. There are things that have come into the mix to actually kind of get into a new home. And for me, this is also um, a milestone in itself because this is the suburb that I'm in. I've looked at this suburb for the past five or six years. I've wanted to move here. I've wanted to kind of be in this area, in the suburb. This is where I want to have a family. This is where I want to kind of stay for a long time. But overall, I'm just ecstatic because I have a home in the suburb that I've been looking for, that I've wanted to kind of move into an area that I've wanted to kind of be around. And I'm able to kind of like slowly build up the home that I want. Um, I'm going to have the studio that I want, all that kind of stuff. And it's just super exciting for me to actually kind of do that and move forward. And it gets a little, it, it, it does get hard. And look, when I was painting, it wasn't like I was like disconnected. I was painting like I actually got a, a, a paint sprayer. And if you're ever going to do some painting of a house, I'd highly suggest getting a paint sprayer. It's a, um, it's a very cool piece of tech and it'll make your job so much easier and you get very smooth, flat uh, kind of surfaces sprayed. But anyway, when I was uh, painting, I was still checking Discord in the breaks, um, still checking Twitter, doing all that kind of stuff. I was still involved heavily and still kind of working hard and just making sure that I was doing a very good job of staying connected because that's how you kind of miss things. I haven't been disconnected from the space at all. I've just been disconnected from the forward facing aspect, but I have been a heavy participant within the space itself. And when it comes to uh, being a market participant, I'm still here. I'm still kind of trading. I'm still a degen. I'm still getting whitelist spots, flipping them, wins, losses, all that kind of thing. I haven't left. I'm still here. I'm still working, working hard in the space, still trying to make a name for myself in the space and still tr trying to connect with new people. And I just wanted to really make sure that um, all of you here on YouTube actually understand exactly what I'm doing, where I am, because I find that it can be a little bit hard to stay connected on different platforms. Sometimes you only want to check in on YouTube, see what's happening. Sometimes you want to hear my voice, see my beautiful, beautiful face, and uh, kind of just know what's happening. And I feel like this is a very good way to let you know what's happening with me as a whole and give you some insight into how I'm actually kind of trading and playing in the space. And like, look, as I'm right here, I'm getting good ninja alerts happening. There are some um, sales happening, just really staying in touch with the market and what's going on. So um, hopefully you had, um, hopefully you like this kind of video, a little bit of this walkthrough, a little bit of uh, just a different side of me as um, NFT Nate, as the DGen, um, and what's kind of going on and what's happening because I feel like seeing a different side of someone can actually kind of help you build a bond and a, a relationship. Let me straighten that up for you. And just um, kind of make sure that you are just deeply connected in a different way. And it's not just a straight um, kind of value exchange when it comes to um, information and consumption of content. And I think that's really important when it comes to a creator and um, a viewer itself. So if you like this video, 
drop a comment down below let me know what you kind of think of this video um it, yes it is a different kind of video it's not one that's full of alpha full of drops full of information just um a different look at me and what's kind of happening overall so um hopefully you guys have a great start to the new year and i look forward to seeing you in the next video